Hi everyone, it's Jamie, your 2020 Oregon Dairy Princess. I grew up on my family's dairy farm, where we had over 300 cows of all the different breeds that I'm going to show you today. I became a dairy princess because as I grew up, I realized that people have all sorts of questions about the dairy industry, and I wanted to be able to share my experience and my love of cows with people like you. Today, we are going to learn about a day in the life of a dairy cow, and I want to first show you the six different breeds of cows, as you can see in this poster. The Holstein is the most popular breed of dairy cow because she makes the most milk. Holsteins are the big black and white cows that you've probably seen driving past a field or a farm, but some of them can also be a red and white color instead of black and white. The next most popular breed of dairy cow is the Jersey. Jerseys are the smallest breed of cow, but they make the creamiest milk, which is best for cheese and ice cream. Below the Jersey is the Ayrshire. The Ayrshire is my favorite breed of dairy cow because she has this beautiful chocolatey brown and white color and the sweetest personality. At the bottom of the poster is the Milking Shorthorn. The Shorthorn is a dual purpose breed because she can make either milk or meat. Next is the Brown Swiss. Unlike the Jersey, the Brown Swiss is the biggest breed of dairy cow. She can weigh up to 1,500 pounds. That's as big as a small car. And last is the Guernsey. I like to call her the Golden Guernsey because of a golden tint to her milk and her hair. All of the cows in the video that I just showed you can get really big, especially the Brown Swiss. So you're probably guessing that they can eat a lot of food too. But do you know how much food they eat? If you guessed 100 pounds, you would be right. Cows can eat an average of 100 pounds of food every single day. I don't know about you, but I couldn't fit 100 pounds of food in my tummy every day. One type of food that we give our cows is called hay. Hay is a leafy green food that gives cows all of the protein that they need in their diet. On top of the hay, we give the cows some grain. Grain is usually a mix of corn, oats, and barley. And then we mix in some vitamins, because just like you take your vitamins every day, cows have to take their vitamins every day to stay strong and healthy. And last, some farmers mix in cottonseed. Cottonseed is really cool because it makes cows awesome recyclers. Can you all feel the material of the shirt that you're wearing? Your shirt is probably made out of cotton. So cotton is harvested off of the cotton seeds and used to make your shirt. But then we have these seeds left over that people can't use. So we give it to our cows and they can use it to make milk. If cows can eat 100 pounds of food every day, can you imagine how much water they can drink every day? Cows can drink a bathtub full of water every day. That's almost 40 gallons of water. Eating and drinking this much allows cows to make lots of milk. So we have to milk them every day. Do you know how many times a day we might milk them? Most farmers milk their cows two times a day, once in the morning and once at night. But some farmers can even milk their cows three times a day. If cows spend a lot of their day eating, a lot of their day drinking, and a lot of their day making milk, what else do you think they do in their day? Most cows actually spend about half of their day laying down and taking a nap. That helps them to digest the food that they just ate and turn it into milk. Thank you for spending time with me today to learn all about life in the day of a dairy cow. I hope you join me and my friend Princess Tasha next time to learn about baby cows, how the cow's milk gets from the farm all the way to your kitchen, and why milk is so good for you.